name is Lina and in this video I'm going to show you how to needle felt an owl like this one. For this project you will need a needle felting mat, a set of felting needles, 36 triangle, 38 star, 40 triangle and 38 reverse needles for pulling the fibers out, a needle felting handle to make things faster, some glue for the eyes and feet, a few pipe cleaners, a pair of eyes, either glass or plastic, a carder for mixing wool, colored wool, you need some shades of brown, also yellow and white, natural white wool roving, feel free to experiment with colors you have. I will try to put links to all the tools and materials in the description to the video. Let's get started. We first make the body of the bird. Take the natural white wool roving and roll it tightly into an egg shape. Needle felt using 36 triangle needles. As the fibers get denser, switch to finer 38 star needles. You can use a handle to make things a little bit faster. After the body is done, make the head in the same manner, but this time roll it into a shape of a ball. While making the head, compare it to the body and make sure you like the proportions. Let's cover the belly with colored wool. Mix some amber and yellow fibers using the carder. Mixing fibers results in a richer texture. Needle felt the mixed wool to the body using 38 star needles. Now cover the bird's back with darker brown wool. You can put some white stripes on top. I use white wool roving for that. I mix the roving using the carder first, as it has longer fibers and it will fall better if it is a bit fluffed. Needle felt the stripes using 38 star needles. When you are satisfied with the body, move on to the tail. Both the tail and the wings of this owl are white on the inside and dark brown on the outside. Work with 138 star needle first to make a good oval shape from the white roving first. Don't be afraid to mix fibers of two contrasting colors as you felt the tail. It will look more natural and fluffy. After you are satisfied with the firmness of the tail, attach it to the body.
Add some more white roving to the tail to make it look nicer. Also add some yellow mix between the tail and the body to make it firmer. Now add some light brown on top of the back and the tail. Let's make the bird's wings with the same technique as we used for the tail. It's better to make both wings at the same time. This way you can easily make sure that they are symmetrical and of the same size. Don't needle felt the top of the wings too much. Leaving the ends a bit fluffy will help to better attach them to the body. When you are happy with the wings, attach them to the body. Make sure they are symmetrical. Only attach the top of the wings. They will look nicer if the wing ends are loose. Let's move on to the head. I first covered the head with the brown wool. Then I add some more layers of various shades of brown. You don't have to cover the eye spots. Needle felt the beak separately on the mat. Use the darkest brown wool for the beak. Form a triangular shape.
leave one end of the beak loose to attach it to the head, but make sure the rest of the beak is very firm. You can try to make the beak crooked. Attach the beak to the head. Before attaching it, you can clearly mark the spot for the eyes to center the beak. Add some white roving between the eyes. Also add some below the beak. You can polish and decorate the head to your liking. Make pits for the eyes. It is important for the eyes to sit as deep as possible. You can try fitting the eyes as you go. Overall, the eyes are an important part of the project as they will determine the facial expression of your character. When you are happy with the look, Glue the eyes. Depending on the glue you are using, the technique might be different. Now I make eyelids. They are also very important for the facial expression. Needle felt eyelids separately and put them above the eyes. It's time to make the bird fluffy using the 38 reverse needles, which are for pulling fibers out. Use multiple needles for a better effect. Also brush the fibers from time to time to see how they look. Use a strong thread and a long needle for attaching the head to the body.
I add some more wool around the neck after touching the head to make the head sit tighter. Use the reverse needle to pull out more fibers all around the body and make the owl look fluffy. Now let's make the feet using the pipe cleaners. Form the feet as in the video. As with wings, I recommend making both feet at the same time to make sure they are the same size. Cover the feet with wool roving and needle felt to fix. You can use some brown wool for the talons. After the feet are done, make two holes with small sharp scissors at the bottom of the body and glue the feet to the bird. And voila! You have a needle felted owl! Thank you for watching this video. Please press like if you found it useful. Also subscribe to my channel for more needle felting tutorials.